Hey, shalom to all my fellow brothers and sisters out there. It's me again, Damian Powell from YeshuaSaysAll.com. Peace be to you in the name of our Father Yahweh and our Adon, which means Master, the Son of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach. So today, my fellow brothers and sisters, I want to talk about the pharmacy deception and do you trust in pills? A quick reminder to all my fellow brothers and sisters out there that if anything happens, please always visit YeshuaSaysAll.com. And I always leave the address in the description box um, because all the information that I give is backed up on the website and it's in written form. If you click the uh, the free blogs link, then you will see all everything that I've written. So if anything happens or if it gets cut short, please go and check the website. All right. So with that, this is not a popular topic, but it's one that needs to be discussed. Because it's a part of the deception of Babylon that's going on in this world today. And with that, we'll go ahead and get st started. But I pray everybody watches uh, the broadcast through this entire entirety to see what it is that I'm saying. And if, and if you have any doubts, please take it to our Father Yahweh in prayer. But this is important and it's deep. And we know that I'm going to talk about things that uh, need to be discussed. Because this is our very, this is about eternity here. So it's not my job. It's my job to tell people the truth, okay? And that's exactly what I'm going to do on this channel. So I pray that you watch the entire, the entire message. Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. And the light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore at all. And the voice of the bridegroom and bride shall not be heard in you anymore at all. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth. For by your drug sorcery, and the Greek word is pharmakia, all the nations were led astray, okay? So notice the words in Revelation chapter 18, verse 23 is drug sorcery in English and pharmakia in Greek. When your doctor writes you a prescription and sends you to the pharmacy to get them, what are those pills called? Aren't they called prescription drugs? And Revelation 18, 23 just warns us of drug sorcery as a part of the Babylon deception. Think about that. Strong's chapter, um, Strong's number 5332 is pharmakia is from pharmacon, means a drug, spell giving potion, a druggist, a pharmacist, a poisoner, by extension, a magician or sorcerer. We can now see the where we can now see where the word pharmacy comes from and the ties to drug sorcery. So technically, this is another tactic hiding in plain sight. This is, a, this is a very important topic because we know that most of the world is on medication and they have been trained to run to the doctor for everything. Has the world lost sight of Yahweh? Is this a big time deception that most of the world has overlooked when it's right here in Revelation chapter 18, verse 23? Thayer's Greek lexicon, pharmakias, one who prepares or uses magical remedies, a sorcerer, part of speech, noun masculine, relation from pharmacon, a drug or spell giving potion. The definition of pharma pharmacia is Strong's 5331 is medication, magic, witchcraft, poisoning, the use of administrating drugs. All other nations were led astray by this, and we know this is true. Because most of the world relies on medications from these institutions to heal them. Now, am I saying that people are evil um, because they didn't know for taking the medications? No, you didn't know, right? People have just simply have been deceived. So that's what this is all about. So do I say continue to on with that medication? I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advise anybody to, to being the origin of where it's coming from, which is what this message is about. The message is, is that the world has been deceived. And we know in Revelation 12, 9, it says that Satan has led the whole world astray. How deep is that deception? It runs very deep, okay? Even down to the very medication that people take. Now, uh, we are called to come out of Babylon, right? And we're called not to go with the flow, but we're to walk and talk and speak the truth at all costs, no matter what the world thinks, okay? Or how the world views it. So, I was led to two different articles that were written that sum up everything that needs to be said on this topic. So I included them below and I will read from them. 
but I wanted to start off with the definition of what sorcery, drug sorcery is first and its original word so that everybody will know where I'm coming from with this and how the world has been deceived. So I'm sure that the rest of this will be an eye opener for you, but stay tuned and we'll talk about it. A stunning Hebrew discovery when healing turns to pharma. This is an article written in 2017 by a guy named Siv Ben Daniel. He says, little did I know at this point how the father was about to reveal to us something amazing about a different word in this verse. I had written a short comment on the word marpe, which means healing in Hebrew, and its inaccurate translation into Spanish version of the Bible when Harold, one of my co-workers, pointed out the one other volunteers we had sent this text to for proofreading had marked a correction on that very word in the Hebrew. It turns out in the original file we had it right as marpe, which means healing in Hebrew. But in the in this file, this volunteer had received, the word had mixed up the letters only to reveal to us a mystery. The weird thing was that the word did not just reverse the Hebrew letters as it normally does, but it had strangely rearranged them into a in a different order into a form of a different word that I immediately recognized, not being Hebrew in origin, but being very popular and significant in the times that we live in. This is how the word the word appeared. Now, if you can read Hebrew, you can probably already identify the word. If not, before I give it away, let me make the point once more. The word marpe means healing in Hebrew. Only one letter needs to be switched in order to form the word. And here it is. I was blown away. It says, by simply switching the pay with mem, Yahweh used Microsoft Word to show us the deep mystery. The word that in Hebrew means healing was turned to pharma. I'll show you. Our father Yahweh showed him this in Microsoft Word. This is the Hebrew word marpe, which is Yahweh's healing. But Yahweh used Microsoft Word to switch up the letters to give him this word right here, pharma, drugs, drug sorcery for healing. So as you can see, there's the M, the R, and the P, the M, the R, the P. So the words were just jumbled up. And our father Yahweh was revealing to him this deception that people have gotten to. So Satan has twisted everything as he always does, right? For example, like I said, the... Uh, our Father Yahweh has Shabbats, which is the Sabbath. But the Shabbat, Satan takes the H off and calls them Sabbaths, right? Our Father Yahweh has Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. Satan has Thanksgiving that the world celebrates. So he always perverts everything. So we took Yahweh's Marpe and turned it into Pharma. So let's continue with the article. The, the adversary perverts and manipulates what our creator has given. Pharma is a modern term that is defined as pharmaceutical companies collecti collectively as a sector of industry. We know that the pharmaceutical industry appears to heal people, but in reality is looking after its own profit. The business is really having people sick and not healing them. It is a perversion of Marpe, the true healing that our Father Yahweh provides for those that fear his name. Okay, like I said, we've already defined what pharma is, which is not limited to uh, the administration of drugs, but has to do with witchcraft and sorcery. Okay. He says, now I do believe that the Almighty has created everything to be good use to mankind, but the fallen ones have taught a perversion of what was given in purity. The same way his marpe, healing, was perverted into pharma. Remember, it looks so close to the original word, as I just showed you. It may even sound similar, but it leads to death. Okay, and so he left us, uh, he left a, a, a scripture, Malachi 4.2. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with marpe, healing, in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So, like I said, as always, Satan uses the law of reversal, and he is literally hiding in plain sight with this deception from Revelation 18.23. Now, herbs and plants are what our father Yahweh considers medicine. Okay, so before moving on to the next article, I would like to add 
definitions and some scriptures proving that our father Yahweh considers plants and herbs and oils of the earth as medicine. And the verb rafe in Hebrew means to cure, heal, repair, mend, or restore health. The noun marpe, which we just defined, is derived from rofe, one who heals, means restoration of health, remedy, cure, medicine, tranquility, deliverance, or refreshing. So if you know, notice the word marpe includes medicine in the definition. But what kind of medicine is our father Yahweh referring to? Sirach chapter 38, verse 1 through 6. Esteem a physician with the esteem due to him for the uses which you may have for him. For Yahweh has created him. For healing comes from the Most High, and he shall, re he shall receive esteem from the king. The skill of the physician shall raise his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be admired. Yahweh has created medicines out of the earth. And he who was wise does not reject them. Was not the water made sweet with wood that its power might be known? And he has given men skill that he might be esteemed by his marvelous works. See, so we see how Father Yahweh has created the physician as he, he's created all men. And the physician will be admired for his knowledge, but Yahweh is the one who brings the healing. Then we see that Yahweh says he gave us medicines from the earth and not pills or a laboratory science project. And then he goes on to say that a wise man will not reject them because it's natural and he created them. He created the herbs and the plants and the oils. Yahweh has given the physician to, the wisdom to be able to heal naturally by knowing which plants can heal certain diseases. And I love how Sarat points out that how the wood, which is natural from the tree that Yahweh has created, is what was used to make the water sweet. Okay, so not all doctors are bad, but a lot of them are. Uh, a lot of them don't know when they're going to uh, medical school. They're just going and teaching what they've been taught, so they're unaware. Although some of them are aware, but they don't teach how to heal naturally they till they hit they learn how to um to heal with pills okay and so these physicians are the ones holistic physicians would be the ones who were there during the ancient times like sebi that doctor who believes that um that all sickness is from mucus in the body in an acidic environment and that eating a alkaline diet will destroy all of that and get rid of all the diseases because you eat and drink what our Father Yahweh has created. Jubilees chapter 10, verse 10 through 13. And one of us, and one of us, he, which is Yahweh, commanded that we, the angels, should teach Noah all of their medicines, for he knew that they would not walk in uprightness nor strive in righteousness. And we did according to all of his words. And all of the wicked evil ones we bound in the place of condemnation. And a tenth part of them we left that they might be subject before Satan on the earth. And we explained to Noah all of the medicines of their diseases together with their accomplishments. How he might heal them with the herbs of the earth. And Noah wrote down all the matters in a book as we instructed him concerning every kind of medicine, the herbs. Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 through 2. And he showed me a river of water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of Yahweh and of the Lamb. And in the middle of its street, on the other side of the river, was a tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were the healing of the nations. Hallelujah. The leaves, natural. Wisdom chapter 7, verse 20. And the nature of the living creatures, the raging wild beasts, the violence of winds, the reasonings of men, and the diversities of plants and the power of roots. Again, plants and the power of roots is what heals. Psalm chapter 104, verse 14. Causing the grass to grow for cattle and plants for the service of mankind. To bring forth food from the earth. Plants for the service of mankind. So all of these scriptures are just showing 
what it is that our Father Yahweh is giving herbs, plants, and oils from the earth. So if you have a headache, for example, or a migraine, mullein leaf is a great cure for those uh, for a migraine. You don't need pills. So now let's get back to, uh, let's look at this other article here. It's a brief, a brief one. The other one's a little longer, but I just want to point this out. And because of the algorithm, I'm not going to say his name. Uh, let me point to it here. In the early 1900s, this man here, all right, and his affiliates pushed to introduce licensing laws for medical practitioners basically that basically illegalized natural medicine. They illegalized natural medicine with licensing laws. And the man that I just showed you, his playbook, people were sold on pharmaceuticals and well-off Europeans took petroleum derivatives, chemical dyes, and similar chemicals and tried to make drugs out of them. Pharmaceuticals, Pharmaceuticals original um, originate from a time when coal tar, derivative dyes, and drugs were interchangeable. Chemicals in coal tar were altered, turned into both dyes and drugs. In fact, coal tar derivatives were used in the cosmetics and pharmaceuticals today, and toxic coal dyes persist today as well. Coal tar was initially considered filthy, useless, industrial waste product, a result of gas production from coal. However, it would become it would become uh, the foundation of dye stuffs in industries and pharmaceutical drugs would be made from these chemicals. B-A-Y-E-R, which, you know, makes type of aspirins and everything, manufactured dyes until a shift when European chemical companies expanded into pharmaceuticals in the 1880s and the 1890s. So we can see this is relatively recent. OK. Uh, European chemicals uh, companies figured out how to make drugs out of their chemicals. And in 1898, B-A-Y-E-R began selling patented uh, deactive morphine as heroin. And B-A-Y-E-R had a major success with their aspirin in 1899. Wow. So look at just look at all of this. You know, it's it is, it's deep, my fellow brothers and sisters. It's deep. Now, this next one, this next article, I want you to bear with me on this one because there's a lot of symbols. There's a lot of symbols that are used, and I might have to point to the screen on some, on some of them, or on most of them. And, uh, of course, you know I don't say the names of them because they're the names of pagan deities, so I'm going to refer to them as snake deities, okay? But I'm going to show you what it is when I get to the figure, like when it says figure A, figure B, I'll explain that to you. So there is a uh, an article written by a path uh, by a pastor named Kerry Rogers. It's called Pathway to Peace.net, which reveals some shocking information that all my fellow brothers and sisters should know. He says, by the sorceries of Babylon, all the nations were deceived. And we read that from the introduction. Excuse me, the word for sorceries, as we said. Is drug sorcery, which is pharmakia, according to the Thayer Greek Dictionary, is the use of administering of drugs, poisoning, sorcery, magical arts, often found in connection with idolatry fostered by it. If you put the Greek word pharmakia in place of the English word drug sorceries, and the end of verse 23, it would say, for by the pharmakia, all the nations were deceived. Pharmakia is where our English word pharmacy comes from and pharmacy is a well organized professionalized system that administers poisonous drugs the bible reveals that babylon will deceive all the nations by the use of pharmacy that is in connection to magical arts and idolatry magical arts has deep roots in witchcraft and the occultic word world we don't have to go into a deep bible study to know that satan is directly behind the magical arts and elohim's people we should already know that. Professed, deceived Christians today use magical arts under the disguise of contempt, contempt, contemplative prayer, Christian humanism, spiritual formation. In general, those involved in sorcery, witchcraft, and magic are known as the magic potions 
to heal, deceive, poison, control, or to kill someone. Pharmacy mainly uses a mixture, mixture of toxic chemicals, metals, synthetic elements to produce pharmaceuticals that are designed to manipulate the biochemistry of the um, meta metabolic functions of the body in an attempt to get in a desired effect and the treatment of a disease or sickness. In other words, pharmacy mixes up different types of poison, package it, patent it, and claims that it can treat certain types of diseases. The main problem with that system is poison is poison. Pharmaceutical drugs are poisonous. When poison is put into the body, it has negative effects on the entire system from head to toe. These are not just side effects or unintended sicknesses or diseases that a person suffers as a result of using a drug. These are direct effects because the reality is that drugs have direct effects on the entire body system, including the brain. When you go back to Revelation, when you go back to Revelation 18, 23, Yeshua used the Greek word pharmakia to reveal to us the main thing that will be used to deceive all people in the last days is a well-organized system of administrating poisonous drugs to billions of people that are not only toxic to the organs of the body, but have a direct effect on the brain. Many of these drugs used for a variety of reasons are known to cause problems with memory, mood, and contribute to negative personality changes. Wow. So now we know, uh, as he points out, that Companies are attached to logos, and this is how people recognize what they are, okay? It's like N-I-K-E is, is, is connected to the, the swoosh, right? So in the, in the pharmacy industry, this is what they do. So I'm going to show you figure A really quick. You see, the this is the bowl, and this is the name of it right here, okay? The bowl of this snake deity. That's what it looks like. All right. So that bowl with the snake in it is the international symbol symbol for pharmacy known as the bowl of that snake deity. Who is that snake deity? That comes from the Greek mythology mythology. Uh, and we know that mythology is the study of myths or lies or pagan false deities. In other words, through it, though it is not true, millions worship it as it is true. And who was the father of lies? Satan, according to the Greek, the Greek pagan worship, that snake deity is the goddess of health and hygiene, the daughter of a pagan deity. And he is the, uh, the pagan deity of medicine, healing and physicians. Wow. So I pray that's waking some people up here so that you see what's going on here. Now, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to jump down to this one right here because this is the point that I want to get to right here. All right. So this is the name of the next one I want to show you. This pagan snake deity here, right? This is the one that everybody recognizes. It's on every pharmacy building, right? But look at this. This same symbol is right here on and this is the represent the representation of satan okay this whole thing right here i'm not gonna say his name but that's the name of it this is a representation of satan with the goat head the horns you see the uh the pentagram on his head and right here sitting on his lap sitting on his lap is that sitting on his lap you see the rod going up? You see there's two snakes? Is that. Okay, so that right there, they literally just told you, hiding in plain sight, what they have done. Okay, so he goes on to say, this sums up who is really behind the poisonous drugging system. It's right there, right? And a lot of people not, may not even be familiar with that, uh, uh, the, the, uh, what Satan is, uh, rep, that figure representing him. And sitting on his lap is that same symbol that they use for medicine, my fellow brothers and sisters. It has two serpents mating around a rod, okay? 
So that shows you who was in charge of this pharmacy. Two serpents mating around a rod topped with a pair of wings. That pagan snake deity is also known as Magic Wand, belongs to a Greek pagan deity. These pagan deities are supposed to be the messenger of the, the, uh, the GODs, inventors of magic, communicators to the dead and one who protects business and thieves. Many in witchcraft and sorcery still use that pagan snake deity for magic and to cast spells. Also, that's, that pagan snake deity is in sorcery, known to restrain and control its victims. Wow. So my, bro my fellow brothers and sisters, you can see it's, it's right there in your face. And if you go back and look, like I said, I just defined through um, this research and this article what all of that represents, okay? And that is the symbol used for medicine. And it's sitting on the lap of Satan. Wow. Wow. So he goes on to say, uh, do you think Yeshua is a part of this system? No. No true believer, Christian, should be a part of this drug and system. This systematic poisoning is Babylon and Elohim's people need to get out. We need to learn nature's way of healing, as I pointed out, Marpe. Plants and herbs, all the scriptures that I read, the Elohim approves through lifestyle and plant-based eating and herbs. Okay? So, uh, the, the system of administrating poisonous drugs is a worldwide trillion-dollar industry. And they say about it kills about 800,000 people a year. Okay? It, 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 it's bad, but there's a lot of research out there. I think they said even in the 70s, it was killing out one out of, one out of every three people. OK, uh, it's a million dollar industry and medical merchants of the earth profit from it greatly. They love the money it produces and ignore the many lives it destroys. Millions worship the system as an idol. And we know that there's a lot of hypochondriacs out there. Poisonous drugs are not a cure for disease. Many who prescribe and administer pharmaceutical drugs will admit it. If drugs are if drugs cure disease, why are many who are being treated for diseases prescribed Prescribed to take drugs until the day they die. Okay, this does not sound like a cure. All right, so you're taking you're taking this medicine all for the every day for the rest of your life. It never healed you. Okay, so pharmacia is a part of Babylon, and this is what the uh, Bible predicts that Babylon will use to deceive all the nations. You do not have to be deceived. There is no way to be a part of Elohim's true people at the end of time and be connected with this the system of administering administering poisonous drugs that manipulate and confuse the mind. This comes from the enemy himself. You have seen the evidence. Babylon has fallen. fallen. Get out before it's too late. It is a broken and poisonous system. Okay. And we know this is true because the world is now waiting for the uh the COV vaccine that's going to cure it, supposed to cure everybody, right? That is a form of pharmacia, and the world is waiting for that right now, okay? So I've talked about this previously before. Do not take it. Do not get it, because as we can see, going into great detail to death, you know its origins and who was behind it all. So as always, please share this information with everybody who needs to hear it. Share it with everybody because it's important. And as always, pray to our Father Yahweh if you're having doubts, but he will gladly reveal this to you, okay? And as always, my Father Yahweh bless you all, Yeshua HaMashiach's name, I pray. Amen.